Hello everyone, Angela Wolf here. We are behind the scenes officially. So <laughs> I'm going through some old videos behind the scenes. Do you know how many years we've been doing this? So I went back to Facebook. You can kind of binge watch some of those old episodes. Oh my gosh. Some of them are a little embarrassing, but <laughs> we started this, I think 2018 is one of my favorite videos. So that's five years ago. And there were a ton of videos before that. So we've been doing this for a long, long, long time. So say hi, say where you're from. I'm Angela Wolf. And because I'm probably going to be on the road today, I didn't want to miss you. So I brought up one of my favorite episodes. So I would just like to know, because I'm in the comments right now, uh, checking out what you're saying. I would love to know, out of all these years, did you have a favorite episode? Because if you do, I'm going to play that next weekend as well. Or not next weekend, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I guess every day feels like a weekend when it's freezing cold in Michigan. So the one I have for you today, let me just give you a little hint. You can kind of see it behind me. I showed it over here. Do you remember this one? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me just give you a little preview. There's a little close up. Don't get seasick. This had so many different things in it. Of course, we made a really big mess with the glue gun. I think this one might have been maybe three years ago. So it has the wreath. If you remember, there's the bowl with some extra balls in it with colors that I can keep out till Valentine's Day. <laughs> Since I'm really bad about putting these away. Here's the wreath. It has the electric lights. Do you remember this episode? So I was going through this and I thought, oh my gosh, for all of you that need a last minute gift idea or decoration, this is super easy to do. And well, it's super easy to do. And you can usually get pretty good deals on a lot of these items now. So I'm going to bring up that wonderful episode and reminisce with you in the comments as so we can watch that. <laughs> so you have to have a wreath. Uh, it was just, it started as a very plain wreath. You can get them for like two bucks. Well, I don't know. Maybe now they're like three, but they were two back then. A couple of different ornaments, some extra things to put in there. You know all that. So before we do that though, I want to tell you to mark your calendar. Don't forget about this. December 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Joe Vaccarelli is going to be on with his annual giveaway with the Wolf Pack. I'm so excited. And he gave me the list of what he's giving away. So just to touch it off, two dress forms, not just one, but two. Fashion Sewing Club members, I've got a huge surprise for you. You've always supported my business and we hang out like on live shows every other week. Well, one of the dress forms is going to one of you. So there's going to be, there is a contest that you have to enter. You'll see the link in the description of this YouTube and Facebook on both of these channels. I sent it out in the newsletter so you didn't miss it. You can enter every single day if you want extra entries, but one of the dress forms will go just to a Fashion Sewing Club member. You don't even have to enter. As long as your membership is in good standing, you're in there. So good luck, by the way. He's also giving away eight pairs of titanium scissors eight pairs and those are not cheap four pairs of his new embroidery scissors and four pairs of his duck bill scissors so that's a lot of giveaways so joe we're very excited joe from french for european inc december 19th 1 p.m all right now before we get going on this <laughs> really fun episode of how to make a wreath i want to thank so many of you for joining us last week for the holiday gift and virtual event. Yes, we had a fantastic lineup of instructors and I've received a few emails of people saying, can I still sign up? I missed the live. Yes, you can. The class will remain open for a whole year. So it's a whole year from the time you sign up. So if you sign up next week, you get a whole year for that. But uh, the only thing you will miss out on was the fantastic giveaway. We had a ton of sponsors, all brands, thank you. Soy Machines Plus, thank you. Uh, Reen, all the all the instructors threw in stuff too. Embroidery Garden, A Stitch in Time Embroidery Designs, Rhonda, uh, Joanne Banco, she even threw in two things, her book and embroidery design, uh, myself and Heather. 
And Karina, it was great to have you over all the way from Norway for these this awesome uh, event. So, so many of you joined. Thank you so much. Yes, you can still sign up. You just miss out on the giveaways, but you still get access to all the fabulous items that were in that class. I've already seen some posts of people that are making some of the things that we made. So anyways, thank you. If you'd like us to do that again, uh, please leave a comment. Let me know. You can always email or if you have topics you'd like for a virtual event and maybe what instructors you'd like. I'd love to know that too. All right, without further ado, let's get rolling on one of my favorite old episodes. <laughs> I think you're gonna enjoy this. This makes it, here's a close up of the difference of the bulbs and there's a lot going on. This entire thing cost me probably $250. Oh yeah, and of course, my favorite. So the whole wreath, and I mean, that goes over my entire fireplace, a huge wreath. I'm pretty sure it was close to $250. And I was thinking, <laughs> I could have totally gone out and bought that. But after I hung it up, and there's so many lights and so many colors, it's been my favorite wreath for, oh gosh, mom, when did you have to get your counters replaced? Because I destroyed it with the glue gun. That's how many years ago this wreath has, and that's how many years we use it. I can hardly wait to bring it out in the holidays. Right for Thanksgiving, it's up. And it stays up until March because it has colors that go outside of Christmas. And also, I'm always too busy to take it down. And I love the winter light. So I have all the tools here to show you how to do that and some fabric. So, hey, I see you guys all rolling in. Hello. I hope you guys have a great day. I heard that a ton of you are shopping right now. So, thanks. All right. On to the wreath. So these are the supplies you need, all right? I'm just gonna bring the camera down here. You guys follow along. Let me get my mouse off this here for a second. I put quite a few of these in my Amazon influencer page, but I have to tell you, you can go to Michael's Craft any day and buy this all week long and everything's on sale. So I have this little crafting bin, which I absolutely love. It has a plug-in with an auto protect, like so this can go on and off. And this is, <laughs> Check out my glue gun. Can you tell how disgusting this thing is? That's how long I've been using this thing. I have like three more. I just can't find them. So this is a mini one. And you can tell what size glue gun you have by looking at the size of the glue. Size matters, remember? So this one is just a little guy. But it works. Glue sticks. I got some bulbs. You could use the bulbs that you filled yesterday, right? Okay. <clears throat> This is the wreath. You can use any size. Now, the one I'm making for today to show you, this is going to go on a table. It's a great table decoration, and I think you're going to love it. And then I have, whoops, I'm losing my ornaments. Over here, I have all of these things that I showed you yesterday. You can buy these at Joann's, Michael's, any crafting, Hobby Lobby. These are really old. They're each, this is like two bucks. Two bucks. Never pay full price, by the way, because they're a bazillion coupons. So they come. Now, this is what I want to point out, though. You don't need a ton of these because what you do is you actually peel off pieces of it. If I can see. You don't need the whole long piece. If you don't want to, you can use individual pieces. I have a couple of pine cones, which I could have actually gotten out of my yard. Just a bunch of different colors. So you can see my color scheme here. I've got purple. Pink, silver, great color combo. And then I have some ornaments that are in the pink family. I also have, hold on here, just this little bowl. You can, I got this today at Joann's. This is just a glass bowl. You put bulbs in it. If you have mini bulbs, it looks great like that. And you'll see what this is for in a second. And then my favorite part is usually I just grab light, plug them in. But when it comes to a table, that's going to be really weird if you have a cord going from your wreath all the way to the floor. So I found these at Michael's today, and I love them. They are, well, the reason that I came on so late in the day, it took me like an hour to unpack these. They came in a little box, and this is like a wire. Yeah. I definitely needed my cheaters for that. So I'm just going to put this around me so I don't lose it. But Okay, how fun these are. These are glowing. These light up if you haven't, can't tell. There was a tester. Use the tester on the box when you buy these. There has been times when I bought them and one of the lights didn't work. And then I got back and put some batteries in here. So it can stay on. 
or you can actually set it to a timer, which is really cool. All right, so these are my lights. I'm going to put these on last, and if you watched yesterday's show, you know why. Because if I put them on first and glue gun everything around it, they're never going to come off when they burn out. So these go on last now. All right? So I see a, a ton of you rolling in. If you want to see this from beginning to end or share it with some of your crafting friends, this is not sewing. This is DIY day. Be sure to share it to your page, and then you can go back and watch it anytime you want. All right? Ask your questions. I'll keep an eye up here as I'm doing this. And um, answer anything I can. I see, I'm just going to bring my mouth back up here real quick. I see a ton of you saying very cool life. Yeah. Hey, Reen, thank you for loving the colors. But um, if you missed yesterday's show, Reen and Carrie were here. We had so much fun. And the day before that, Cindy was here. I felt like I was having like a whole, I think I could do this every Christmas. This was way more fun than sitting around working all day. And we actually did do a little bit of work. So, all right. You've seen that trade before. Hi, everyone. All right, back to this. I'm going to hide your comments. You can see. Now, ask away questions. I'm just going to keep working. I'll pause and answer your questions in a few minutes, all right? So let's get started. First of all, your wreath is going to come squashed is crazy. And this is not a good time to paint your nails before you do this because this absolutely destroys your cuticles. So you could use rubber gloves if you want. I have my wire cutters. I forgot to mention that. The better the wire cutters you have, like a better quality, maybe from not just the mini jewelry making ones like I have here. So you have to go around your wreath and make sure that, kind of like you do at a Christmas tree, just get this all full. All right? Now, I'm not going to do the entire wreath. I'm just going to do parts of it, and you're going to get the idea. Wow, big difference. So see, look at how full it is now compared to when we started, if you can tell. All right, is that a good spot for you guys? Just give me like a little heart emoji. Give me some love and tell me that this is a good location for you to see and it's not distracting. I'm going to go with yes then. Thank you. All right, so you have to go in order of... What you want in here? What do you want to embed in here first? Well, if I put all these balls on first, that's not going to do any good because I can't squish things around it. So let me just slide you back just a little bit. I don't want to get any glue gun on you. So I'm going to start with some of these. First off, these silver. This is a good one. These are just leaves. Now, you could use this entire piece and spread it throughout. That would look great. But I don't like to do that, so I'm going to just start pulling a little bit. Now, some of these, these have been around a while. If I notice that they're not going to come off, then I'll go ahead and use the whole piece. But I have my wire cutters, so there you go. Wire cutters, no fabric scissors. And then what I do is I figure out where I want this. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be a table decoration, so everything can go any which way. It doesn't start here and go around. So keep that in mind. If you're going to hang this on the wall, you'd want to have a centerpiece. This one's really not going to have one. So you just give a little dab of glue with your glue gun. And stick this down underneath some of the... See how it can just pop out just a little bit? And this, these are all wire, so these bend. All right, let's grab a few more pieces here. I already pulled off a couple of these. To make it go faster. Let me see if I can find some of those. Here's one. Now this was green covered wire. Twist that a little bit. Now if you don't want to use a glue gun, you could put this in place and twist this around. That's just way too much work for me. So glue. Squeeze that down. Linda, I see that you mentioned you love those lights. Yeah, they're really cool. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. Now, I use lights like this for my wedding, you know, all over the tables. From uh, when and I catered our own wedding at our cottage. Yeah, he did the cooking, no worries. We didn't kill anybody. <laughs> but I did the decorating, which I love to do. So it, it turned out pretty cool, but those lights were amazing. I put them up and down the stairs, and then you don't have to worry about finding a plug-in, people tripping over cords. All right, so you get the idea. So both of I have two here. I'm going to do one more. Let's see if I can break one of these 
Jesus. I love silver. So I'm just curious, guys. Is this okay? Um, I'm just curious, what's your favorite holiday color, silver or gold? Both are so rich, and it really depends what colors you're mixing it with. But I'm just curious what your favorite is. I like both. I absolutely don't have a favorite, but silver, pinks, silver and pinks. Oh, that's a hot blue. Silver and pinks are great. Let me put that down there. And I'm just going to grab just a couple more. Hi, Lucy. Welcome to the party. We're making a wreath today. Hey, by the way, you guys, I just got a message from Crafty today. I'm just going to talk to you while I'm doing this. That they are eliminating some of their pattern companies that are that have free patterns on there, starting pretty soon. I think next week. So if you have a favorite pattern company on there that you get free patterns from, go there and uh, get your pattern support in case they are one of the ones that are eliminated. Okay. So I think you're seeing some of this come to come. <laughs> By the way. Now you know how old this video is. Craftsy finished that like forever ago, forever ago. So just FYI, don't go to Craftsy and download your favorite pattern because it's probably already gone. <laughs> so anyways, in case you're wondering like, wait a minute, what just happened? Yeah, no. All right. I'm watching with you. Don't forget. Of course, there's the wreath we're making. We'll go back and keep her rolling. And do a few more silver pieces and then we're going to move on to other colors. So all I'm doing is breaking this with the wire color cutter and more glitter. <laughs> My poor studio. Glitter makes me happy though, so it's going to be a happy studio. Wrapping that under. And how about You can see that glue gun. The glue just like goes everywhere on here. Um, how about whatever you do, do not touch the end of this glue gun. It is so hot. I have burnt myself many times. I survived, of course, but it's very hot. And if you have kids that are you're doing this with, make sure that they don't get their hands touching that. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to add more later. I'm just going to give you the gist of all this. So here's a whole other kind of silver. I could add maybe a few more of those if I wanted to. This one has a pretty good wire on it. I'm just going to tuck that in. All right, what do you think? Now, what I'm doing here is I'm spreading this out. Look at how full this is getting. I'm loving this. I think I see one more. If you guys can't see anything, just leave a note. I can see your comments. It could be that Lena says that it could be because they have so many. What did you say? That they have so many are just downsizing. Yeah, it could be. But I don't think Crafty is downsizing from what I've seen. All right. It's looking good. Just keep turning it until you see. I think I'm missing. I need just a wee bit more. This one was a really fun one. So this had like, what are these anyway? Oh, more Christmas balls. Oh, yeah. That was a whole different conversation yesterday. We had so much fun making Christmas decorations. So a little glue gun. And by the way, once you put the glue gun in here, wherever you put this, it kind of has to stay there. But you can just rip it off you want or cut it. These are really cute. These are like just little, I don't even know what you'd call those. And there's a different kind of silver here. And by the way, while you're watching you guys, uh, this would not be a good one to listen to from your car because this is all visual. I did keep it separate from yesterday's show because I know not all of you are into DIY crafting, but when it comes to all of these stuff, I can't resist. I'm just picturing all the glue on my hands. Ah! Traveling or what you're doing, feel free to leave it in the comments because guess what I'm going to be doing on Saturday afternoon? 
reading them. My favorite part is Saturdays. Okay. I think we're pretty good on the silver. I'm going to stick one more in here. And if you've noticed, I'm actually putting it in the outside of the wreath and making the wreath almost appear wider than it already is. That like on your car, objects appear larger. Now, I like these, but they're kind of in my way. I don't know. I'm pulling that out. I don't like it. And that looks pretty good. Let's go to color number two. All right, I'm going to get the silver out of the way. Pink? How about pink? Are we good with pink? And I'm just making sure you guys can see, okay? If you can't, just leave a comment and I'll move. Oh, Anne's going to be visiting her family. That'll be nice. I'm going to be visiting part of my family. You know, some of them live in North Carolina. Some of them live in Illinois. I'm going to my mom's in Illinois, which I love. And I hope to go down and see my dad one of these days. He's in North Carolina, too. Now I know this is an old video. But for Christmas, oh, I goodness. See the babies, and I'm very excited about that. Oh, yes, I'll see Cody and Colin. I am laughing about this, actually, because I'm thinking, wait a minute, nobody lives where they did three years ago. In fact, I think even the ones that lived where they lived live in different houses now. So it's amazing what happens in three years. Oh, yeah. So on this, by the way, this is so much fun. I'll keep playing it because I'm just loving that wreath, and I think that you would love this project. But I just want you to know I'm here watching with you, and I'm in the comments today. All right, back to the wreath. I have more to see Jake and Allie, though. I guess I just wish there was more days in the holiday season, but I've kind of made a New Year's resolution for this year to try to spend a little bit more time with family because you know what? Before you know it, time goes by so fast, and then you're like, whoa, what happened? And once those kids grow up, you can forget it. All right, can you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm putting little pieces in this. So I'm going to bring you down just a little bit lower so you can see this. Don't get these things for a second. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay. Is that better? I thought somebody said they wanted to see closer up. Uh, Korean says, got you on a big screen. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. And... You guys are watching Crafty videos too. Fantastic. All right. So what you can see here is I've added, I'm adding little pieces of pink. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see. I do have a couple paper towels here just to wipe the glue off of me. So will somebody please send Win a message because I have a dinner party tonight. We have a dinner party tonight. And I purposely wore this big blue shirt for this crafting event with you so I didn't get completely covered. We can run home, change clothes before we go out, right? Well, <laughs> I can, I'm looking down as I'm putting all the decorations in here and I can tell you right now I've got enough glitter in my hair to maybe look like I did it on purpose. So somebody tell when I'm okay. <laughs> what did you say, what my quote is? <laughs> okay, so all of you, I'm wearing glitter right now, so I can be coated with glitter. But that tree skirt that I made last weekend, do you remember? I vacuumed for the last two days, and there's glitter everywhere. This must just be like, um, I don't know, a common denominator in my life. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. I told you, they they have like some really expensive glitter that you they pay to put on. Just come to my studio for like a few minutes. You'll be coated. Glitter makes me happy. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm tucking these underneath, underneath, so they kind of just come out. Yeah. Oh, Janice, I just saw that you said you had surgery. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I hope you do something, some sewing on Sunday. I hope you feel better. Or heal quickly, I should say. All right. I love, can you see this color? This little itty bitty $5 wreath is completely coming to life. And these, I want to show this again. These are stiff. You can bend them around, but they just pop off. So what I'm doing is popping them off, 
and finding a place for him. I see somebody else. Yes, I am doing a wreath. I know it's not sewing, but I'm glad you love it. And also, that's why I did it separate so people who don't care about this wouldn't, I wouldn't mess up your Wednesday behind the scenes show, right? And if you're just popping in and you want to watch this later or a rerun or you have friends that are looking for a fun holiday craft, share this on your page and you'll be able to find it later. You know how Facebook is. Everything disappears. All right, what do you think? Is that enough pink? coming to life. I think I'm really liking this. You can always go back and add more later. Here's kind of a, a hole. I need a hole. One Yeah, Liz, I agree. I hope you guys, Jen, yes, I hope that you uh, heal quickly and you can start sewing soon, too. So, all right, here's these pieces. These are a little bit bigger. Now, these are already attached right here, so you really can't take these apart. These, you've seen these in the store. Usually they come in little bins. You can get a really good sale on these right now. So what I like to do is find places in the wreath. And I kind of visually think of maybe one, two, and two, or, you know, kind of come up with a symmetrical look. You really don't need to use a glue gun on these because this bends with wire and I can tuck it in. So I'm just going to place these and get them away. And look at what happens. If you squish that way inside, it looks like it's part of your wreath. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? So let's turn this a little bit. Do I have any pink ones? Oh, yes, yes, of course I have pink ones. I've got light purple, pink. And you look at all these colors and think this is going to be the craziest wreath ever. But this is going to be a table decoration. Let's see, where do I need? I need some more pink over here. So I'm actually going to slide this around. Put it right in here. And I just stuck that in there. And if you really want, if, I mean, if you're worried about this coming out, you could take it and wire it right here to the back of the wreath. Let's see, where did it go? stuck in there pretty good but if you're going to hang this on the wall i would actually pull this out please can you see it right here and just wire it in here or use a little glue whatever your flavor is all right so we've got pink and we've got the purple i've got a couple more here let's see we've got one more dark purple let's put that one visually down here would be good Every once in a while, just step away and look at your wreath and think, okay, where do I need to add some color? Is this getting too full? Does it look good? Is there anything I need to take out? Remember, you can just take it back out if you don't like it. All right, it's looking good. And this area over here is a little bit light. I think I'm going to take this one here. It's kind of a light purple. Then this. Once I'm all finished, I might go back and glue those in place I haven't signed yet. This is going on a table, like I mentioned, so this is everything's pretty secure at this moment. And how about right here? Use odd number of purple. Use an odd number of purple. So don't use this one. Oh wait, here's another one. What color is this one? This is a cool purple. This is a different one. Why don't we use that? And then let's use that over, take the price tag off for having takes. This one's an old one, $1.99. Take this down in here. <laughs> that is old. Oh, that one. I don't even know. That one behind the silver, it almost looks like it's part of that decoration. What are the prices of this exactly. right now? Do you know? I don't know. I haven't been to Michael's in a little while, but this is where I bought all those many, many years ago. One. I don't know where I want that yet. I'm going to leave that to the side. Okay, here's some fun ones. I still have, by the way, some more pink and purple. Which I just want to get a few more pieces in here before I add any more. This, this wreath isn't that big. So these, I have not used these before. So this is going to be a learning lesson. What do we have going on here? Oh, is there a code for the cutting mat? Yes, there is a code for the cutting mat. Would you like that, Betsy? Oh, 
All right, so I'm still laughing because some of this is so old. All right, I'll skip you ahead. If you missed this episode before, it was a lot of fun. So I'll get you closer to the end. Those balls were pretty much a hot mess. <laughs> but they look good. They look good on the table. All right, here we go. We are almost finished. Almost. I hate to see what this did to my nails. <laughs> So Melody, I'm requesting that you try to keep nice weather down where you are because we might have to sneak down there at some point during the holidays. All right, and I see one more kind of little hole here. I'm gonna put this. You can see I could probably spend hours on this, but I think we're almost finished. What do you think? So this was a five dollar wreath. Hey, Janet, no worries. You can watch the recording. Save it to your page, and you'll be able to watch it from the beginning. Because this is such a fun project. So I showed you this. This is all like just a whole bunch of different balls. These could be glued in here as well. But I just want to show you something. If I lift this up, put this in place. This goes right around that, and you can use these balls in the center. You can put candy in there, whatever you want. I'm just going to throw some these balls. Now let me get all the scraps out of the way. I give it an A+. Plus. And these are just balls, you know, like ornament balls, like we talked about yesterday. On the ornament, on the actual wreath that I did, I took a few of these and just glued them into the wreath, sticking out in different areas. And it gave it such a fun, let's see, find an open area. That was pretty cool. Just do a little glue gun. Throw that in place. I think, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy about this. So last thing, of course, but not least, oh yes, Angie, actually, before I found, um, she said, or a candle. Uh, a candle looks gorgeous in here. So I have, I actually make these for every season. I was thinking I was gonna use this one maybe for Valentine's, but this definitely has a holiday look. Although there's pink, I could leave this out till February since I have a knack for leaving my Christmas decorations out forever. So, uh, Did you hear that noise? Is it ring? Oh, it's me. It's my wire. <laughs> um, St. Patrick's Day, you can have one for summer. But the one that I use in the spring usually has all spring beautiful like yellows. And I use a, a real pretty white candle, one of those big ones right in the center. I have one that I use as an advent wreath. It's not really an advent wreath, but I use a big candle in the middle. And then I have just four glass little glass dishes that i found at joanne's i just have to ask do you all notice yeah did you hear that that was not that was a motorcycle outside do you notice anything about the studio so if this video was three or four christmases ago i've owned this building for four years is it four years this year or three i just moved in you can see it's pretty empty do you see that spot over there with uh no fabric look right behind my right arm like there it's empty what has happened compared to now <laughs> oh that's all right who is counting right now it's all filled and homey and uh it's just fantastic so all right let's see the last of this with the lights in place, and then i put little tea lights in there that's kind of cool all right so what are we going to do with the lights oh thanks melanie let me get my glue gun out of the way so I don't want to accidentally burn my turn it off. I tried to find this cake for you guys to put on Amazon this year, and I can't find it. So if anybody finds it, let me know. I've obviously had it for quite a while. So let me back over here. Can you see okay? All right, I'll take the comment down so you can see. And here is the light. So I'm thinking that you're going to want to hide this part underneath somewhere. You could hide it underneath any part of the wreath or on inside the bowl. So I'm just going to start at this end and kind of weasel this in and out 
your wires will be covered up if you, if you try to do that. Just push them underneath of move your greenery when you see okay. I know. I just no, this is not Martha Stewart. This is just Angela Wolf that likes to do some crafting. I know I can't be Martha Stewart because I can't cook. Very true statement. Three years later, still not so good in the kitchen. <laughs> so then kind of start at the end then, because I, this is what I have left. So now in order to know how full I want this, I'm going to go, this is the edge. I'm going to put this one, this is the end. So then I know I won't have too many lights in one area. And what I'll do is I'm going to take this home tonight and take a photo on our beautiful table in, you know, where the lighting is dim and show you what this looks like with all the lights. I am loving this. So if you're looking for a last minute gift for someone, I think that they would be pretty excited about this. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now I have just a handful left. So I might just make this a little fuller. And because I told you last time I made this and glued all these in place, I ended up with like a whole mess trying to get them out to put the lights in. And the lights are the best part. <laughs> So at least now I can quickly. That is true. I actually had to replace the lights again this year when I brought my wreath out. And now that this is the third time I've replaced the lights, I learned after the first time where I had to cut them all out because they were glued in. Now I just kind of wrap them around really easy, easy peasy to switch the lights out. I'm sure if I use probably, I don't know, I don't like the super, super bright lights. So I end up using the less expensive ones. They don't last as long, but they look good. They look really good. All right. So what do you all think? Do you remember this episode? Oh, hey guys, look at this. This is what I'll do with the extras. I'll put them in the middle with the ball. And my beautiful wreath is finished. So that is really what my wreath looks like at our house. We have a huge fireplace with, it's like a fireplace with a brick wall. And that wreath I've had forever and ever and ever now. I can't even think how long. I'll have to ask my mom whenever I ruined her granite countertops <laughs> because I got glue all over them. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Live and learn, right? All right, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day. Again, don't forget. So December, I think it's this Saturday, is Reen's uh, annual favorite things. Don't forget about that. She always has great deals and giveaways there. That's Reen on Embroidery Garden. Uh, and December 19th is the show that Joe's coming on, giving away a couple dress forms, all those fabulous scissors. Joe, we can't wait. Let's see what else. Next week, uh, Soy Machines Plus has their entire week of... What is it? The countdown to Christmas? I will be on next Thursday. I just wrote it down. <laughs> 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you then. So lots to look forward to. Keep things rolling. Make sure if you're adding photos of even from the last class, anything like this, or anything we've been sewing, be sure to tag me. I love to see what you're working on. Until next time, happy sewing, guys. I hope you uh, can't wait to see pictures of your wreath. I know this isn't sewing, but... Hey, it's still crafting, right? At least that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> All right, let me just put up this real quick. And yes, I am in the comments saying hi to you all. There you go. Someone said, what's the website? There you go. There it is. All right, everyone. Countdown to Christmas. We don't have too much longer to get ready, but we have a lot of fun things planned. So... Talk soon. If there's a special show you want to see next week, I already have one in mind. But if anybody mentions it, I'm definitely going to play it. It's called What Were the Best Shows Ever from our entire Behind the Scenes Live, which has been going well over five years, even back in my old studio when I would do it just with a little cell phone. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? All right. See you guys. Have a great day.